Welcome to the Collin County FM 546 County Road 400 Corridor Study Virtual Public Meeting. Collin County is determining a feasible alignment for the future reconstruction and realignment of FM 546 and County Road 400 from east of Bridge Farmer Road to US 380. Near the end of this recorded presentation, there will be a slide to show how you can share your comments, questions, and concerns with us. We appreciate your interest in the FM 546 County Road 400 project and welcome everyone's input. Public participation is vital in the planning process and Collin County appreciates your time and input. Due to the COVID-19 outbreak, Collin County is hosting this virtual public meeting to give everyone access to project information, allow for public input, and limit the number of people at in-person gatherings. Additionally, an in-person public meeting is being held on October 29, 2020 by appointment only. The virtual and in-person meetings will cover the same project information. Today's meeting will include a project overview, proposed improvement alternatives, project schedule, and information on how to submit public comments. The purpose of this meeting is to receive public comments regarding the FM 546 County Road 400 project and its alternatives. Your comments are important to us as they will help us compare the alternatives to be discussed today. The FM 546 County Road 400 corridor study is located in central Collin County as represented by a black rectangle on Collin County's road map. The ultimate corridor study begins south of McKinney National Airport in McKinney, Texas. The ultimate alignment will continue in an easterly direction and end at US 380 east of Princeton, Texas. FM 546 County Road 400 Corridor Study is broken up in two separate phases. The current Phase 1 study began in Spring 2020 and is the focus of this public meeting. The study area is shown in purple with project limits from Bridge Farmer Road in Lowry Crossing to US 380 east of Princeton. Phase 2 of the FM 546 County Road 400 Corridor Study is anticipated to begin in December of 2020 or January of 2021 and is indicated by a gray shading. Its limits begin south of the McKinney National Airport and will end at its connection with Phase 1 just east of Bridge Farmer Road. A public meeting for Phase 2 is estimated to be held in summer of 2021. More information on Phase 2 will become available in the future. The remainder of this presentation will focus on Phase 1 of the project. To date, no construction funding has been identified for either phase of FM 546 County Road 400. Phase 1 of the study runs along the southern end of the city of Lowry Crossing with limits shown in yellow and continues through Princeton with limits shown in blue. Pink shapes represent improvements that are currently underway within the city of Princeton and are at various levels of design or construction by others. Phase 1 study limits are indicated by light green shading. There are five different alignment alternatives that are proposed just south of Lowry Crossing and are represented by the larger light green shape. The existing FM 546 is currently classified by the Texas Department of Transportation as a major collector and is a two-lane road with varying shoulder widths. Country Road 398 is a local two-lane road with no shoulders. A typical section is shown on this slide. There are two major goals of the project. The first goal is to improve overall mobility in central Collin County, including east-west connectivity between US 380 
also known as Princeton Drive, and FM 546, also known as Harry McKillop Boulevard. These road improvements would provide more consistent speeds, handle increased traffic volumes due to population growth in the area, and reduce the demand on local roads. The second goal of the project is to improve safety within the corridor. The proposed alignment would create smoother curves to improve line of sight. The proposed improvements would include a raised concrete median which would separate traffic flow and provide dedicated left turn lanes where permissible. The proposed improvements consist of four 12-foot lanes for an interim condition. Through lanes would be divided by a raised concrete median with dedicated left turn lanes where appropriate. The large median would allow room to construct one additional lane in each direction for a total of six lanes in the ultimate condition. A portion of the alignment has already been predetermined by others as design or construction is underway at these locations. The predetermined alignment sections are indicated in pink and is not a part of the FM 546 County Road 400 corridor study. Through this study, the alignment was analyzed at three locations within the city of Princeton. The first section of the study is located on the northeast side of the map and is indicated via a green shape. The section is a study of the connectivity at US 380. The second section of the study is located on the east side of the map, with western and northern sides of the alignment already predetermined. The section will consist of tying the two predetermined alignments shown in pink together. The third segment of the study is located at the western city limit of the city of Princeton and southern city limit of Lowry Crossing. The gray line represents a concept that was previously shown in Collin County's thoroughfare plan as Collin County recognized the need for an improvement in the area based on traffic projections. The gray line is also being weighed as an alternative alignment. However, the local area has recently experienced accelerated growth. New improvements along Myrick Lane are depicted by the pink alignment and are being completed by others. They are either under design or are already under construction. The pink alignment is not an alternative alignment in this study and will need to be considered an existing road during the scoring of the alignment alternatives. Construction is anticipated to be complete in advance of the alignment identified by this study. As a result, some of the alternative alignments that overlap the pink alignment may be scored less favorably in one or more categories of the final evaluation. Five new alternative alignments were developed at this location and consisted of partial or complete realignment of FM 546 to the area. The design speeds for the FM 546 County Road 400 corridor study alignment alternatives range between 45 and 50 miles per hour. Alternative 1, or blue alternative, follows the existing FM 546 alignment on the west side and then continues to the east where existing FM 546 heads south. It then continues to the pink alignment which is currently under construction. This alternative requires the least amount of right-of-way acquisition based on length. However, the proposed right-of-way would impact the front face of properties along existing FM 546. The eastern end of this alignment conflicts with a portion of the south to north or pink alignment currently under construction. The design speed for this alternative is 45 miles per hour. Alternative 2, or teal alternative, 
also follows the existing FM 546 through the western end and continues to the east where existing FM 546 heads south. Alternative 2 provides smoother curves than Alternative 1, allowing for an increased design speed of 50 miles per hour. Alternative 2 generally connects to the south to north Myrick lane, or pink alignment. Some surface adjustments to the pink alignment would be required to tie in the curve from the teal alignment in the future. Alternative 3, or yellow alternative, follows the existing alignment of FM 546 on the west end and continues through County Road 398. Alternative 3 provides a similar route to what some drivers may experience today as they travel from McKinney National Airport to south of the city of Princeton. Widening would stay to the north as it passes the historic Higgins Cemetery to avoid any impacts. The design speed for this alternative is 45 miles per hour due to the tight curves along existing FM 546. Alternative 3 would end at the beginning limits of the pink alignment. Alternative 4, or orange alternative, proposes a complete realignment of FM 546 on the south side of Lowry Crossing, Texas. The revised alignment would be designed to handle the majority of the east-west traffic volumes, allowing local, local residents along the remaining piece of existing FM 546 to have safer access to their properties. The proposed right-of-way from this alternative may create displacements on the west side of the project. On the east side, it generally connects to the south to north Myrick Lane, or pink alignment. Some surface adjustments to the pink alignment would be required to tie in the curve from the orange alignment in the future. Alternative 4 has the least reconstruction of existing roads, therefore would not interrupt the flow of traffic during construction as much as other options. The design speed for this alternative is 45 miles per hour. Alternative 5, or green alternative, is the southernmost option. It is similar to Alternative 4, where the rerouted alignment would be dedicated to handle the majority of the east-west traffic volumes, allowing local residents along the remaining piece of existing FM 546 to have safer access to their properties. County Road 398 would be fully reconstructed. It would also connect to the south to north Myrick Lane alignment that has been predetermined by others. The design speed for this alternative is 50 miles per hour. Below are the next steps for the FM 546 County Road 400 corridor study. The public comments period for this public meeting shall continue through November 12, 2020. All comments will need to be submitted to the county by or on this date. A recommended alignment will be selected in December 2020. The technically approved alignment, after County Commissioner's Court approves, will continue into the preliminary design phase, which is anticipated to begin in January 2021. The next public meeting is estimated to be held in May of 2021 to present the details of the selected alignment. The right-of-way acquisition is estimated to begin in September of 2021. Final design is estimated to begin in October of 2021. Construction funding has currently not been identified for this corridor, but if funding becomes available, construction could begin as early as February of 2022. Phase 2 of the FM 546 County Road 400 corridor study is indicated by gray shading and is anticipated to begin in December 2020 or January 2021. 
Its limits begin south of the McKinney National Airport and will end at its connection with Phase 1, just east of Bridge Farmer Road. The timelines for both phases will overlap. Phase 2 timeline is anticipated to have a longer schedule as it includes additional coordination with public entities as well as environmental studies. A public meeting for Phase 2 is estimated to be held in summer of 2021. More information on Phase 2 will become available in the future. Collin County is committed to continuing its efforts to gain public feedback regarding this project. Due to the COVID-19 outbreak, the process of obtaining public feedback has been altered, but all comments will be given full consideration. There are five different ways in which you can leave a comment, question, or voice a concern with the project team. The first method is via the Virtual Public Meeting website. Click on the top tab labeled Overview and click on the blank window below the map at the bottom of the screen. The second method is to send an email to lee at piacommunications.com. The third method is through U.S. Mail. Please mail your comments to FM 546 County Road 400 Study at P.O. Box 570 Allen, Texas 75013. The fourth method is to make a verbal or written comment in person if you previously set up an appointment for our in-person public meeting. It is securing this evening Thursday, October 29th, by appointment only. The fifth method is to leave a verbal comment by calling 817-381-2473 and leave a voicemail with your comment. Please limit all voicemails to three minutes in length. Again, to be considered, please be sure to submit your comments on or before November 12th 2020. If you have any general questions or concerns regarding the project, please contact the BGE project manager, Brian Reinhardt, during regular business hours. Brian can be reached via telephone number or email address shown on the slide. Alternatively, please contact Collin County project manager, Tracy Homfold, via the telephone number or the email address shown on the slide. As a summary of today's presentation, Collin County is determining a feasible alignment for FM 546 and County Road 400 to improve overall mobility in central Collin County and improve safety within the corridor. The roadway improvements consist of a proposed four-lane urban roadway section with two lanes in each direction. The road would be designed to allow a future third lane in each direction. The current project has five separate alternatives in addition to the county thoroughfare alignment for consideration and are located south of the city of Lowry Crossing. The period for public comments is open now and shall continue through November the 12th. There are five separate ways to comment during that period. All project information can be found online at bit.ly forward slash FM 546. We appreciate your participation in this meeting and thank you for being a part of the planning process. This concludes the project presentation. Have a great day and goodbye.